Welcome back to the Zeitcast. <laughs> this is the most important episode of the Zeitcast ever. This is my privilege to welcome to you all the coolest, smartest, most handsome boy in the entire world, Kingston. <laughs> welcome, Kingston. Thanks for hanging out with me. So Kingston has been here in Greencastle for a few days, and we've had a good time, right? This has been fun. What all, what what is your favorite thing that we've done since you've been here? I like going to the parks. The parks were awesome. There are great parks here. They're really good parks, and we just went to Scoops Ice Cream, so that was a good time. Um, Kingston, I feel like you always say really smart things about God. So I wanted, I was curious about this. Uh, what do you think about God? What do you think of when you think of God? Who do you think God is? Or what do you think God is like? Well, I think he's a really kind and handsome man. Really kind and handsome man? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> he's very kind. Is he always kind? Is God always kind? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think he's like kinder than any person that you know? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is the book that he likes? Is it Matthew Paul Turner's book? And Rachel's. Oh, that, that one with Rachel. Yeah. Okay, because, you know, Rachel Held Evans was my good friend, and her Matthew Paul Turner wrote the book that you like. Is, what is it called? What is God Like? What is God yeah. Like? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you like that book so much? <laughs> do you think God is like... The way the book talks about God? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. yeah. It's inspiring. It is. In yeah. It, it's inspiring to me, too. I really love that book. I think it's really beautiful. It makes me happy the way that you think about God, because I feel like when I was your age, I was really scared of God and church and all that. In a way, I feel like you're not. You don't, Is that fair to say? You're not afraid of God? Yeah. Why are you not afraid? I'm like nothing to be afraid about God. Nothing to be afraid. I mean, he's not going to hurt you or anything. No, no, that's right. He's not. He doesn't hurt people. Yeah, I mean, that's that's amazing. God doesn't hurt people. Um, when we think about God being so kind and so loving and so good, it seems like so many people in the world now are mad at each other and are not kind. And of course, you know, we're in the election. I know you know a little bit about that. Why do you think people are not nice to each other? Why do you think people are unkind to each other? Because they disagree on a lot of stuff. They disagree on a lot of stuff, yeah. Do you do you know people that you disagree with in Oklahoma? Do you have there's friends that you disagree of, with? Yeah, there's a lot of friends that, of my friends that I disagree with. Yeah. With them. Yeah. Are you able to still get along with them? Even if you disagree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What do you what do you think would help people get along better even when they disagree? Cuz you're good at this. You're good at helping people get along. <laughs> Sometimes we don't say it all out. Yeah. But sometimes even when people do say things out loud that we disagree with, we don't have to be mad at them, right? Yeah, we can just ignore it. Yeah, just ignore it. You can still hang out. And that's cool. Mm. Just leave it in the past. Yeah, just leave it in the past. Yeah, that's really good advice. I love that you always think about helping. You always help people come together because you're very kind. You're very kind. You're kind to your friends. You're kind to people who aren't your friends. I thought you're just, you're good at these things. <laughs> Where did you learn how to be so kind? Where did you get that from? Probably just family. Just family, yeah. Yeah. Well, you do have a pretty great family. <laughs> I'm glad I get to be in your family. Um, is there anything else that, like, I don't know, that's on your mind these days? What are you thinking about? Well, I've just always wondered what um, heaven would look like. That's such an interesting question. <laughs> what heaven would look like. What do you think heaven would look like? It to me, it just feels like a big palace and like gold, like what do you call it? Uh, like sidewalks and stuff. Oh yeah, like gold sidewalks and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Do you think like in heaven that we'll still get to do the things that we like to do, or like is it just like one big long worship service? Like do you think that we still get to play? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. 
And they say that there's like animals there, like lions and stuff. See, I believe that. I believe there'll be animals there. I believe that like our animals that we lose, like, you know, Stella won't live forever, but I think she'll, I think she'll be in heaven. I think there'll be animals there for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, So you think there'll be animals there and you're hoping for some gold sidewalks? Well, I'm not hoping for it. This is what I imagine. What'd you imagine? Okay. And what else, anything else you imagine about heaven? What Jesus and God will look like. What Jesus and God will look like. That's such an interesting question. Because some people say that God's like so kind that he like literally shines so bright that you can't even see him. Yeah, that you can't even see him. That's interesting. I wonder if we'd be able to see him in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's yeah. like we'll be like a, think we'll like adjust to it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What, what, do you, what do you imagine God or Jesus to look like? Well, what I imagine is just like pictures I've seen. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. So, like, the way that Jesus looks in the picture. So, like, long hair and all that. Okay. Yeah. Like, short, long hair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but, yeah, I love the thing about animals, though. I really, Because I really do think there'll be animals there. I believe that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What What is it like when you feel like you're in the middle between people who are different? What does that feel like? I'm like, I... I'm scared. I don't know who to agree with. Oh, huh. yeah. Yeah. So then, so what do you do? Mm. When you're, when you feel stuck in the middle like that? I'm just trying to sort it out. Yeah. Yeah. Just try to sort it out. That's cool. Do you feel like you're able to do that? Do you feel like you're able to sort it out? Yeah. I like that. It's tough to be stuck in the middle, though, with people that we care about, for sure. Now that can feel that can feel really hard. But you're very loving, and I feel like you do that so naturally, like with your friends and, and your family. Yeah, you do a good job of that. <clears throat> hmm. What What do you think makes certain people act unkind? Like their madness. Their yeah. Urge. Just like letting it all out. Yeah. Because it feels a lot better when you let it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's even that they're trying to feel better, but they end up making other people feel worse. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. What can you do when you feel bad that doesn't take it out on other people? Mm. I like that question. Mm. What are some good ways to deal with your anger? I mean, you can take deep breath and yeah. meditate or whatever like, helps you. Yeah. Without letting it out, obviously. Yeah. Talk to someone. Sit with them. Yeah. That's Stella. That's Stella. Stella's, Stella helps me when I feel angry or sad. I don't know how to talk to animals that well. You don't? They don't do the they talk back? Sometimes I feel like it just calms me down to like pit still or something if I'm upset. I like to wait with Lucy. Oh, uh, Lucy, our cat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lucy's great to cuddle with. Mm-hmm. Um, she's also not jumpy. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. No, she's pretty. She's pretty cuddly that way. Those are all good things, though, in terms of what you do when you're upset. I think that's really good. Sometimes you get in the sad box. <laughs> We have a sad box. I just called it that for no reason. I think it's hilarious. I think it's really funny. And sometimes I get that. Sometimes you just want to like go get in a box. <laughs> I wish I had a sad box. If I did, I would get in kind of a lot. Does the sad box help you feel better sometimes? You like like does it help you get like sadness out? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. When you've been in the sad box, a couple times I've wanted to like pick up the box and bring you and move you around, but I don't know if you would like that. Yeah, well one time you did that and you left me out. On the porch and locked the door, which was not funny. Wait. <laughs> that didn't happen. Yeah, it did. What? <laughs> Put you out of the porch. Did someone else do this? That no, wasn't me. No, because you were in Oklahoma at that time. But I put you outside of the sad box? Out. No, no, you brung the sad box and put it on the porch and then locked the door. Oh. As a joke. But you were in the box? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Were you still sad then? 
<laughs> that's just mad. And then it'll work out your anger. <laughs> I do actually think the sad box is a pretty awesome idea. Like, it's kind of like, hey, I'm sad. I'm just getting in my box. And sometimes the Kingston gets the sad box. It's like, don't mess with me. I'm in my box. I just need to be in my box for a minute. I wish I had a sad box for real. Maybe the kids at school need a sad box. They can yeah. just get into and Well, they don't have sad boxes. They have um, safe places. Oh, they have safe places. Okay, but but not not nearly as cool as a as a sad box. I think. <laughs> do you like to? Um, we were talking about God earlier. Do you like to go to church? Yeah. What do you find interesting when you go to church? What do you like? Well, I like when they tell verses of the Bible. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Do you have a favorite Bible verse? Is there a verse you're especially like? Mm, I don't remember what verse it's called, but it's like when the God floods the earth or whatever. Oh yeah, that's it. That's an interesting favorite verse. Why are you? Inter why do you find it um, interesting when God floods the earth? What is? What is? I think you mean. Are you talking about when the rainbow comes and He says He'll never flood the earth? Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's not when God floods the earth, but He says He's not going to flood the earth again. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why do you think you like that so much? Mm. Um, it's just interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. yeah, so God's like saying he's not going to take his anger out on us. Maybe he gets in the sad box <laughs> until he feels better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> when I imagine the sad box for him, it's just like clouds. Clouds. <laughs> That would be an amazing sandbox. Did you just get in the clouds? It's just like I'm just you're just in the cloud. That would be a pretty awesome and sandbox. Get a cloud pillow and a cloud blanket. That's incredible. That's incredible. Then again, maybe would you be st would you still get sad if you could like have your own clouds to do stuff? I don't know. Maybe okay. you would. Do you think God gets sad? Not a lot. Do you ever? Are you? Do you ever like? Have you ever been sad or really mad or upset or something, and felt like you could feel God with you? Has that ever happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like God has touched me a few times, oh, like that's on the soldier. On For the real? Soldier. Why can't you? <laughs> I've never heard you say that before. Like he was like God touched you on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Wow. How did that make you feel? Like happy. Happy. Yeah. That's interesting. So it's like God really cares when you're sad or upset. Mm -hmm. That's really cool that you feel like that, that you can feel like God touches you. I believe in some of that. So I totally, mm -hmm. like I buy it. That's really amazing. I love that you're able to feel God that way. What would you, for somebody that doesn't know a lot about God, if you were trying to tell about who God is to, to them or like who God is to you, what would you tell them? What would you want people to know about God? Well, I mean, I couldn't like read them the Bible and stuff. Could read the Bible. That's a good idea. I read the Bible to people sometimes. I did yesterday at church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that would be helpful. Mm, that's awesome. But you think God wants to go? No, go ahead, please. Doesn't Poppy still like go fly around the fly around the world um, and give like people Bibles in their language? Yep, he does. It's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a cool thing to be able to do to get people Bibles in their own language, so then they can understand it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So then other people can maybe know that God cares about them when they're sad and mm -hmm. feel like God wants to touch them when they're when they're upset. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. um, anything else you'd want to say to the people at home? Mm -hmm. Just be you. Just be you. Be <laughs> you. That's a word. Just be you. And Kingston's very good at this, by the way. Kingston's very good at just being himself. I feel like you're. that's unusual for a kid that your age. You're very... You're very good at just being yourself, you know, <laughs> like you're just, you're just cool. You're just Kingston. Just do what you do. <laughs> That's awesome. So Kingston, I want to encourage you to be you, be you. Anything else? You and want? also follow your dreams. And follow your dreams. Yeah. Yeah. What dreams do you have right now? What dreams do you have? Mm. I want the world to be a good place. Mm, that's amazing. It's so interesting that that's your that at your age that would be your dream that you want the world to be a good that you're thinking about other people and not just yourself. I think that's awesome. What do you think would make the world more of a good place? I think the world would be more of a good place if there are more Kingstons in it. <laughs> we need more people like Kingston. That way we can't clone 
Uh, uh, we can't. Not yet. <laughs> There's still time. I mean, unless God somehow makes another us. Unless God somehow makes another us. Yeah, that, that makes that makes sense. Well, in the meantime, there's only one Kingston, mm-hmm. and I'm glad that there's that that you exist, and I'm glad that you're in my life. So mm-hmm. I love you. Mm-hmm. Thanks for doing this with me, buddy. Mm-hmm. This was awesome. Thanks for hanging out for the Zeitcast, y'all.